President Trump just got some bad news from Kenneth Starr. The appearance of this man and his theory were not necessary at all. There is one new obtained memo that is written by special counsel Kenneth Starr way back when he investigated President Bill Clinton. Apparently, the sitting president can be indicted after all. We all are thinking about the ongoing investigation between Russia and Trump. According to Newsmax, this memo has been locked since 1998 by the National Archives but it was taken by the Times Charlie Savage due to a Freedom of Information Act request and represents a thorough analysis of the opinion. The memo says that no one in America, even the sitting president is above the law. In case he slash she did major crimes that are serious and are no part of, and are contrary to, the president's official duties it is legal proper and constitutional the federal grand jury to indict a sitting president. This memo was assigned to be written due to deputy prosecutors that back then told Starr they had enough evidence to send to a grand jury against Clinton. The prosecutors also compiled a draft for an indictment against Clinton. Newsmax also mentions another special counsel who thought that another president should be indicted. It is about Watergate special counsel Leon Jaworski in 1974, who also got a memo from his staff saying then-President Richard Nixon could be indicted. Both Starr and Jaworski ignored the indictments and let the matter proceed to impeachment. When it comes to Robert Mueller, the one in charge of Russia's investigation, he could have options allowing him to proceed with a criminal case. But it is worth mentioning that the Constitution together with the federal law do not ban presidents from being indicted, no matter the fact that there are others who argue about its principles. Also, indictments had to wait until a president left office, some crimes would not come to trial because of the statute of limitations considerations. Things are getting messier as days pass. For so long they undermine Trump but there is nothing to indict or impeach him over. We all know that they have zero to prosecute Trump because he is innocent.